The internet has been abuzz about the possibility of a new Walking Dead spinoff focused on the governor. I'm going to tell you why everyone's going crazy and what I found out. I'm Captain Kyle, and I'm here to put the spotlight on fandom. In a recent interview with Red Carpet News, David Morrissey stated that he would love to come back and reprise his role as Philip Blake, otherwise known as the Governor. He said there was still more that he could do with the character and he wasn't done with him yet. This caused a bit of a buzz with videos and articles popping up all over the place. And certainly David being willing to come back to the role is kind of important if such a project were to happen. But what would a Governor spinoff look like? The Governor died in season four, so obviously it would have to be a prequel. Seeing the governor's journey from the beginning of the Biter Apocalypse to becoming ruler of Woodbury, that would be awesome. Now while some of the material from Jay Bonansinga's book Rise of the Governor was used in season four, there's still plenty of material that can be used and I'm sure they can come up with some original stuff to fill in any gaps. And Scott Gimple did say, in addition to the three Rick Grimes movies, there would be some additional Walking Dead spin-offs. More on that later. So is it possible that we'll get a Governor spin-off? Absolutely it's possible, but all these articles and videos that are heralding the potential approach of this new series, they're kind of jumping the gun a little bit. Let me tell you why. First of all, AMC has made no announcement about a potential Governor series. No announcements, no press releases, we just have rumors. And honestly, this is not the first time David Morrissey has stated he would love to come back to the role. The first time I met him back in 2014, I asked him if he'd be interested in coming back and doing some kind of prequel series based on Rise of the Governor. And he said he'd love to. So for five years, he's been saying that he would be happy to come back to the role. I know it's an exciting thought for Governor fans, this possible series. But first of all, you gotta realize it's unlikely David would turn down such an offer anyway. David's an actor. Actors like to work. It's rare for any actor to say, oh, I'm not going to go back and do that role again, unless you're Harrison Ford, who is dead set against playing Han Solo ever again. But even he came back for one last movie. It would take some very strong reasons for any actor to say, no, I'm not going to come back to that role. So of course David said he would come back and play the governor again. A few months ago, I asked David if he would ever consider returning to Doctor Who as his character Jackson Lake. Guess what he said? He'd love to! I'm sure there's some roles that David would never want to revisit again. But when it comes to popular franchises like The Walking Dead and Doctor Who, I don't think he'd have a problem with any of that. But could a Governor series actually happen? Sure. But there are some obstacles. His character did die back in Season 4, and since then a whole lot more has happened. Including a couple seasons where The Walking Dead's viewership declined. The introduction of Negan was supposed to breathe new life into the show. Unfortunately, with the deaths of fan favorite characters Abraham and Glenn, Daryl, you stupid shit, and half a season of watching our hero Rick stumbling around a broken man, people didn't like the tone of the show. Even though it eventually got better for Rick, it didn't draw back viewers. And the whole all-out war saga seemed like the same conflict with Woodbury, only writ a little larger. Now certainly the show still does well in its time slot, but despite the fact that AMC insists that they still own Sunday nights, they're not the powerhouse they used to be. And with the loss of Carl and Rick and Maggie and next season Michonne, fans don't seem to be as connected to the show. And even though we've had some great storylines this season, viewership continues to dip. So would they want to go back to previous characters? Well, another obstacle is the last prequel they did. Fear the Walking Dead doesn't get bad ratings, but it's nowhere near the level of even Walking Dead as it is right now. So might AMC be a little bit leery of doing another prequel? Maybe. Though this prequel would be a little different because they wouldn't be introducing all new characters. Which brings us to our next point, the availability of the actors. David isn't going to just turn down roles in hopes that this is going to come about. He needs a contract. And you would need some other actors too. Jose Cantillo, Travis Love, Dallas Roberts, and, I would hope, Michael Rooker. So scheduling would need to work out. Fear the Walking Dead was a whole new cast. This definitely wouldn't be. 
But the real question is, would AMC do a series or a movie based on the governor? Is it even a good idea? Hell yeah, it's a good idea. Especially since so many people think of the governor as the best villain to date. I'm sorry, Negan who? At conventions, David is very popular. He's got huge lines of people who want to see him, mainly due to his role as the governor. And it doesn't matter what the governor did to Andrea, or to Merle, or to Maggie, or even Herschel. He's still a popular character. And some of the people who abandoned the show during those dark seasons might actually come back to watch a show that featured the governor. Especially since the governor was around when the show was on the rise. And who wouldn't want to see the gang back together? The governor, Martinez, Schumpert, Milton, and of course, Merle Dixon. And while they're at it, they could also introduce some other characters that might part ways with the governor early on in the series or before he runs into Rick. And they could appear later on in either The Regular Walking Dead or their own spinoff. It is a good idea, but we haven't heard that it's definitely in development. However, little ray of hope, in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Scott Gimple spoke about having stories featuring fan favorite characters who are no longer on the show. He actually said, I have one of those stories in progress right now. And he spoke about being able to work with those wonderful people again and answer questions about their characters. Now, could he be talking about the governor? Who else could it be? Morales and his family? Dawn and the people in Atlanta? The Claimers? The Cannibals of Terminus? I don't really think any of those would have the same level of appeal. Still, nothing is confirmed at this point. It's great that David is happy to return to the role, but just keep in mind that that doesn't really indicate anything. Only AMC can make this happen. So if people are interested in seeing a Governor series, I think we need to let AMC know about it. I've put a poll right over there where you can vote if you'd like to see it and tell your friends, share this video so they can vote too. I know I would love to see it. And David, if you're watching, Keep me in mind, and don't forget to suggest that I audition for the part of your brother if you remember what we talked about all those years ago. But in the meantime, all you Governor fans, keep the dream alive, keep the buzz going, and remember, it's not David we have to convince. It's AMC. If Scott Gimple isn't already working on it. So that's the story behind the buzz. Now I'm wondering, out of the Governor clips I used, how many of you noticed that one of them wasn't actually David? Let me know in the comments below which one you think it was. So over here you can see the clip of the panel where David first said to me that he would love to return as the governor, plus some other great videos. Be sure to subscribe down there and click that notification bell so you can find out when we have new fandom news and videos. Check the description for more cool links and as always have fun and follow your fandom.